John Kerry in Jeddah telling the Saudis, ISIS is not just about you know, 55,000 bearded Kalashnikov-carrying people. By the way, according to the Iraqi prime minister, 40% of whom are Saudi nationals, talk about terrorism. It's an ideology. So even if you manage to overthrow and annihilate ISIS, you won't be able to kill ISIS. It will pop up elsewhere. And the only way to finish off ISIS is to finish up the financing and the ideology, vehicles for communicating, conveying the thoughts behind it. And he specifically mentioned Al Arabiya, Arabic Channel, which is a Saudi version of Al Jazeera, as one of the major icons for conveying that kind of thought process, encouraging terrorism. And, you know, this finger pointing is just a pot mocking the kettle. It's, it's ongoing and it's not going to get anyone anywhere. At the end of the day, the only thing that will work out and the only thing that will end the story is when ideology, Islamic fundamentalist Wahhabi ideology coming from Saudi Arabia will not be conveyed abroad, broadcasted over all these channels and source of financing will stop. And where does the financing come from? The Saudis say it's not the state, but they acknowledge it comes from their civil society. Okay, how do you respond to that, me, uh, Mr. Al Ansari? Can, can, yeah. Go ahead. Okay, please. Here's, here's the thing. These uh, flash words can get us nowhere. Why? Because the facts say the following. Where does ISIS uh, officially operate? It's in Iraq, Syria, and Libya. Guess what? None of the, those three countries ever allowed a Saudi funded mosques or madrasas or schools in the past. Neither that is not, Syria, no, not correct for Syria. No, it's not correct. It's completely correct. No, this this, is, this is, is, is not so. correct. As you may recall, before not, Assad, before Assad no, uh, cut off its it's relations, it's they opened up the doors to Saudis. They went in, changed the market, and funny. Let's let's listen to Mr. Al Ansar. Let's have a civil dialogue. Let's have a civil dialogue where everyone has a right to speak. So what I'm trying to say is. It's very uh, trendy at this time to just basically blame Saudi for terrorist ideology, etc. This is completely nonsense. Let me tell you something. Else. Nonsense? Are you talking about civility? Let, let me speak about let, let, Don't interrupt me, brother. Don't interrupt me. So what I'm trying to say is Saudi Arabia has been attacked 30 times in Israel last year, just like here, by ISIS, in Mecca, in Medina, in all those places. So if you go and any kind of hint that Saudi is, uh, is on the same page with ISIS and Saudi, this is absurd, complete absurdity. So nobody can get this if they do their homework and studying the case. So combating terrorism, as I said, is a global uh, responsibility and the regional parties, specifically the King of Saudi Arabia and Egypt and the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain, are trying to go hand by hand with the United States and the global community to confront the ideology that feeds terrorism. Mm. And unfortunately, Iran and Qatar have been the major problem makers in the region. And that's why we need to confront them with decisiveness. 